Welcome to All Things Woman, where we discuss femininity, life advice, womanhood, and overall lifehood topics. If that interests you, hit that like button and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're aware when I drop a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about nine ways you could partake in radical self-care. 2024 just started and as feminine women, we have to make sure that we are up on our self-care, not just at the top of a new year, but all throughout the year. Many of us, we put ourselves on the back burner because we are busy serving other people. And while we enjoy serving, serving and nurturing our families, we have to make sure that we take time to nurture ourselves. So the number one way that you can partake in radical self-care is to go to sleep, listen to your body. Many of us have been programmed to push past our limits. Many of us have been programmed to keep on pushing even though we're tired as I don't know what. We're not doing that this year. When you feel sleepy, when you feel tired, if you're able, take a nap. I literally woke up in the morning. This was, I think, Sunday. I woke up, made my kids breakfast. I came back upstairs. I didn't plan it. I laid on the bed and I didn't wake back up until about two o'clock. My body was telling me, you need to rest. So this year, I'm listening to my body whenever possible, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Go to sleep, get the rest, listen to your body. Number two, eat foods that make you feel good. Stop eating things that taste good in the moment and make you feel horrible later on. I'm talking to myself here too. I just told myself that I have to back off of all the sugary um, Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks drinks. As much as I love those things, I have to back off of those things because I deal with acid reflux. So things don't hit me right in the moment. They hit me hours later after I've already enjoyed the drink. So this year, we're going to be eating foods that make us feel good, not just in the moment, but long term. Number three, be quiet. As women, we sometimes like to just talk just to hear ourselves talking and we let our emotions and our feelings get the best of us sometimes and we just keep on talking and even the word says that in a multitude of words sin is not lacking so we have to make sure as women that we're being wise and if we don't have anything productive or thoughtful to add to a conversation we just have to learn how to be quiet that is a form of self-care because you spare yourself many arguments and many little tussles when you just choose to be quiet. Number four, read. Read a good book. Read the scripture. I will always stand behind that first, spirituality. Spend time with God, but read a book that's uplifting. Read um, nonfiction books. I like to read books that are about like home and cozy living and anything to do with nurturing my womanhood, femininity, beauty. Read books that are uplifting and just take time to be quiet and just read. Many of us are accustomed to multitasking, so the idea of sitting there just reading for an extended period of time seems very scary, but we have to train ourselves to not constantly be multitasking, and reading is a good way to do that. Number five, learn a new language. Um, for me, I just picked up this book the other day. I've been trying to learn French for all year. All last year, I was trying to learn French. And I didn't really get too serious about it. So I saw this book in Barnes & Noble and I said, you know what? I'm going to be serious this year about learning French, at least the basics. Um, I don't want to be a basic woman. As feminine women, we do not strive to be basic. And because of that, we are always trying to learn things that will help us to not be basic. And I think a wonderful way to not be basic is to learn another language. Number six, go to the gym. I know right now everybody's running to the gym because it's the new year, but that really should just be a part of our lifestyle. Even if you don't go outside of your home to work out, create a little home gym. If you don't have the space, get you some dumbbells and use your body weight. Do push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, dance, stretch. These are all things that you can do at home to make sure that your body is at optimal health as much as possible. Um, I know when I had my son, I wasn't able to go to the gym, so I would work out in the living room um, and I would put on Billy Blanks. I would put on, you know, different things on YouTube. I got me some free weights from Walmart and I just started working out at home until I started going to the gym. So there's really no excuse, ladies, for us to um, not be on top of our physical wellness because it's important. You feel good. And when you feel good about yourself as a woman, that helps you to thrive more in your femininity. So go to the gym or work out at home. Number seven, 
go to the spa. If you're able to do so at least once a month or once every couple months, go to the spa and get a nice massage, get a foot massage, get a facial, you know, um, hand in stone. They always have different deals like $69, sometimes cheaper than that. I constantly get emails from them. Um, get a massage, go and let somebody pamper you. That's okay. As much as we do as women, especially if you're a good woman, we do a lot. We nurture our families. We take care of our families. We listen to problems. We fix problems. We deal with things. You earn the right, not that you have to earn it, but you have earned the right to go to the spa and let somebody pamper you. So go ahead and do that. Number eight, go out by yourself. This is one that I struggle with because me and my husband are constantly always together because we enjoy each other's company because we're married. But sometimes it's okay to just go out by yourself. You don't have to have your husband or a friend or your kids with you constantly. Learn how to do things like just go to dinner and have a nice meal by yourself or go to the movie or go to the mall or walk around your neighborhood. Some of us are so accustomed to having people around us nonstop that the idea of going out by ourselves seems awkward. I actually have a friend that says, I don't know how people go to dinner by themselves. And for me, I'm thinking, I don't do it as much as I would like to, but I have done it. I have no problem doing it. It's simple. You look at the menu, you pull out your phone or a book, look at that, and just enjoy yourself. As introverts, it's easy for us to do things like that. But for people who are not introverted naturally, it might be hard for them to think about going out by yourself. But I can tell you that one of the ultimate forms of self-care is going out by yourself and enjoying your own company. And number nine, watch something that's uplifting. Um, I know there's not many programs on TV that are uplifting nowadays, but find something that interests you that doesn't include um, crime documentaries and things that pertain to harming people. I don't know what the fixation is with women today that we're very interested in like things that are harmful or go to sleep watching murder mysteries and things like that. But as a feminine woman, that is not something that we should be wanting to place into our psyche all the time um, or period. We shouldn't want to look at things that are pertaining to harming other people. I don't care if you watch old reruns of things. One of my old reruns that I like to watch is Golden Girls. You know why? Because it was about a bunch of sassy old ladies that were doing nothing and they were, you know, being hot in their own way and they're old and it was funny. To me, that 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 was hilarious. So I watched something that's kind of lighthearted and not too much about anything because I want to keep my mind clear. And then even with the, watching the programs, you have to be careful because they add little things in there and we can just pick up on things that will stay with us even though we might not think that it will but when you watch a lot of crime documentaries and stuff like that that stuff is really no good for you and as feminine women we want to keep our minds and our thoughts light all right so these are just nine ways and there's a lot more things if you can think of any other ways add it in the comment section but these are just nine ways where we can partake in radical self-care this year because we have to keep ourselves together and more importantly than anything make sure you're spending time with god that's a form of self-care that's a form of just life okay like and subscribe to the channel and share this content take care